Welcome to our final live Q&A with Mercedes-AMG Petronas Motorsports. I'm joined by Valtteri Bottas. Uh, what a day it has been, Valtteri. I can't believe, I can't believe we've really got through it. It's now uh, almost seven o'clock. How has your first day been as an official member of the team at the launch? It's been mega. Well, first of all, hi everyone. Uh, thanks for joining. Hopefully many of you will, will join on, on the way. But uh, it's been an amazing day for me and uh, it's been incredible first few laps with a with a new car it was a big day for the whole team you know the the amount of work and time they've uh, spent for for this car is incredible and then get to drive it um, and for me first time with a silver arrow um, it was very impressive and made me really realize what i'm part of Talk me through that moment of leaving the pit lane as you exit out sweeping around to the right there at silverstone uh, and up that little incline what was going through your mind? What were you thinking? Is this real? Do I need to pinch myself? That kind of thing. Well, I have to say, yeah, when, when I left the garage, that was kind of the moment and sitting in the car waiting for the moment to be released. Uh, that's when you realize, okay, this is actually happening. You know, it's, uh, it's a big thing for me, even though it's just um, a shakedown in, in Silverstone, but it, it, it is the first steps with a, with a team together on, on track. Um, so very, very special and uh, something I will definitely remember always. And uh, so now it's just already my eyes are on, on Barcelona testing. Absolutely. Uh, the car's obviously new for Lewis, but uh, you've got the, the extra element of new team, new teammate, new boss, new car. Um, did it feel good already? You know, how's the setup in terms of, of your driving style? Um, you know, uh, since um, I, I signed with Mercedes, it's been ex extremely busy on preparing everything to be ready for uh, shakedown, ready for testing. And uh, um, it's been very good last few weeks because today I was very, very calm and everything was set up. Uh, everything was seamless with the, with the engineers. Uh, the car was running well, uh, so everything was good. So in terms of um, you know, changes. There is quite a lot with the with the regulations. So, and it's a completely new car anyway, new systems. But with good preparation, it it was all good, and it was just nice to get to feel the extra downforce that is brought by the new regs and uh, by the great job, obviously, but uh, from the team. So uh, it was it was good. A good day all round. Um, so as I said at the beginning, we are live on Facebook and YouTube, and we've got this amazing interactive wall behind us. Uh, lots of messages for you here. Uh, you know, hello, Valtteri. Good to speak to you, Valtteri. Uh, lots of people uh, getting in touch. So please do keep your comments coming. Um, I've got a question for you uh, to start with. Um, this is from Ben Stubb, 66. Uh, thank you for your question, Ben. Um, what are your three targets for this season besides the championship? It's quite early days, I guess. But, but have you got any targets at the moment? Well, I myself always set targets very high. Um, I think first thing is I want to perform well from the beginning of the year, not to, to have too much time to, uh, to be spent to learn and you know, get slowly into it. I really want to be on it soon. I know it's difficult and it, it requires hard work, but uh, I think it, it is possible. That's one thing. Uh, then it's going to be extremely long long season again for for everyone and if i keep improving myself keep keep working as hard as i always do and keep um, getting better as a driver that's always one thing and then definitely i haven't won a race yet so we haven't won a race this is we your need moment to, we need to fix that so <laughs> that's that's the plan that is the first job, absolutely. Uh, thank you very much for that question, Ben. Uh, the next question comes from Vic Urube66, uh, saying, how do you feel, or how confident do you feel for the first race in Melbourne coming so soon? Are you excited? And I guess excitement is definitely part of it, but is there an element of apprehension as well, a little bit of nerves creeping in? I have to say, you know, I haven't been at all nervous or, of course, it is very exciting. And uh, anyway, this time of the year is, is always really interesting, exciting. But now with, with the new team and everything, even though there's so much new stuff, but at any point I haven't felt, felt nervous. Um, I'm just, I just can't wait for, for everything, you know, for the first tests, for the first race. And for Melbourne, I feel I'm, I'm well prepared. Um, of course, the test will be a massive uh, thing in terms of preparation. Um, I'm going to learn, learn a lot from that. Uh, get a, hopefully a good mileage with, with the car. We'll get used to the car and, uh, and everything. And uh, 
yeah, Melbourne, Melbourne is, is coming soon, and uh, you know, it's we're gonna have double the time that I've had so far to prepare with the team. Mm. So instead of one month, I, I will have two months already then with the team. So it, it will be okay. Absolutely. Uh, do you think there's a little bit of added pressure for you? Because the spotlight will be on you. You are filling a championship uh, seat. Uh, do you feel a bit of pressure to perform then, or you just eyes down, get the job done, and show them why you've got the seat that Nico vacated? I think the the best thing and the thing I am only going to focus is um, my performance on on track, and that's all what what counts. You know, it, it, this would be so easy situation to get that extra pressure and get get it into you uh, but that's not going to help anything so for me you know it sounds maybe silly but nothing changes from previous years in terms of my job my job is, is to drive the car as, as quick as i can work as hard as i can with the team and that's it you know um, of course there will be more things around there will be i will be more in the spotlight and i have a lot to prove but um Nothing changes for me. Well, absolutely. Eyes on the prize. Um, another question has come in from model under underscore whitey. Um, do you think the fastest car in Melbourne will be the fastest in Abu Dhabi? How much do you think uh, the car can improve throughout the season? Having driven it today, do you think there's enough work that can be done throughout the season? I think it's going to be for a long, long time a season that it's extremely important to be on top of the development race throughout the year. With the new recs, um, the rate of improvements for everyone is going to be massive. And to keep up on that, to keep finding the gains aerodynamically, mechanically, engine-wise, everything is going to be crucial. And if, if you want to win the title, you need to be, you know, if not the best, one of the best improvers of, of the year uh, from beginning to the end. So. I think it's impossible to say who's going to be quickest in Melbourne and Abu Dhabi. Uh, of course, we we hope it is it is us, but uh, we will find out. Absolutely, it's going to be a long old season, not quite yeah. as long as last year's, but it is still a long, long season for you guys. Um, a great question here from Helen Maddock on Facebook. Helen Maddock was Rogers. Um, who's your favourite Finnish driver? Interesting. Mm. We've got very good Finnish performance going on in, in rally at the moment. Yeah. Uh, but who's the best for you? Would you say? For me, I have to say Mika Häkkinen. Um, he was a massive motivation for me when I was a kid. It was 2000, sorry, 98, 99 when he won the titles. And at that point, I only had started go-karting two, three years ago. So I was at that young age, still dreaming about everything and uh, wanted to be in Formula One. He, Mika was kind of the guy I was looking up that well that's where I want to be one day uh, so he was big motivation for me and for me the uh, the best thing thing so far have you spoken to Mika have you spoken about you know moving to Mercedes and asking do you ever ask for some of the older drivers advice or you try and just take your own uh, own line you know Mika has been part of my management actually since 2008 so we speak quite a lot together and uh, yeah I think he's coming to testing and some of the races and uh, um, obviously he is also excited about this year um, so uh, yeah so he'll be there helping you along yeah. the way um, a good question thank you very much for that one another great question here uh, from Greg Malin thank you very much for getting in touch on Facebook uh, which driver this is a little bit of a trick question because I hope I know the answer uh, which driver would you say has the biggest potential in 2017 <laughs> you. Do I need to answer? <laughs> well, I hope me. You know, I think at, at least you know I have the biggest shoes to fill. You know, mm. kind of replacing a world champion. Um, yeah. I, I mean, did, the talent's they there. I didn't, the drive, the, the the car is there. One would think it's all going to come together in the right way. Yeah. You know, last year I didn't finish nowhere near in the positions I, I wanted in the in the championship. So I think. This is a great opportunity for, for me to do a lot better season than I've ever had so far and for me to really prove myself. And uh, so I think it's just a massive opportunity for me, for me in general. So hope, hope that it's going to be me. Absolutely. Um, that was a very good question. I like that a lot. Uh, Bruno Cabral uh, has asked this question. I don't know whether you've actually uh, been in the simulator, you'll be able to tell us. Uh, have you been able to match Lewis's times on the simulator? 
Um, I think we haven't actually compared really. I think. Um, but you've been in the simulator. I've been yes. Yeah. I've actually done many race distances. Uh, one day I did two races in oh. Barcelona, just on my own. <laughs> like a, you know, a car yeah. <laughs> and you know, the, the engineers well. they were throwing in different scenarios like safety cars and you know things like that, um, front wing failures, and just to get you know used to all the scenarios and yeah. what to actually do in those situations in terms of communication and with all the switches and everything. So it's been a great tool this year for me to learn how the team works, how the how how to operate the steering wheel with all the new buttons, all the new meanings for different things. So that's being So talk me through that, because uh, each driver has their own steering wheel, specially designed for the grip of your hands and everything. Uh, in terms of the buttons, what you had at Williams totally changes then when you come to completely. Mercedes. You know, mm. I think it was amazing it's to scary. see that every single button was completely different in, in different place. And, you know, even for same kind of things, the word or labeling, labeling was, was different. So. The terms the team is using technically for different things, they can be quite different. So th there has been a lot of new things and there are still things I'm picking up and uh, learning. So, uh, so a bit of a new language you've got to learn. Exactly, yeah, kind of, you know, uh, and yeah, it's, I've never changed a team in, in Formula One and, uh, you know, it's, it's not, not just like this, you know, you just don't go there and, and drive the car, you know, there's a bit more into it and uh, it's been really interesting to learn all, all about that. Um, that is a very nice bit of insight. I like that a lot. Um, so Matthew Fisher has a question saying, um, do you think you can bring the fight to Lewis? Now I want to slightly <coughs> tweak your question, if you don't mind, Matthew, uh, because there's been a lot of speculation about how you and Lewis will get on. Um, so taking the question a bit broader, um, can you bring the fight to him on the track? But also, how are you going to work with him off track uh, so that we don't have mm. any fights, in a way? Yes, yeah, first of all, if I wouldn't think that I can um, bring the fight with, with Lewis and match him or, or be quicker than him, uh, then I would rather stay at home. Uh, so uh, <laughs> then, you so know. So you're up for a bit of uh, a battle? Uh, you know, you know, racing drivers. Yeah. And uh, you know me. Um, that's how it goes. But uh, I want to go day by day. I want to go race by race. I have, like I said before, a big learning curve in front of me, but I know what what I can do in a, in a, in a, in a good car. Um, I also know it's going to be a massive challenge with Lewis. He's a three-time world champion. I haven't won a race, uh, but I, I feel positive about a year and um, I don't want to spend more, more time on talking about this because the season will, will start soon and then we will see. But I see no doubt why we couldn't work well as a pair of, of teammates and um, at least so far it's been very good. Of course, it's a long way to go, uh, but I believe we can have a good professional relationship as a, as a teammate, teammates and race very hard but very fair. I, I think it is possible. Absolutely, that's what we want. We want nice fair racing but hard yeah. racing as well, right up at the front exactly. as well. Um, so talk me through your preparation now before but going to Barcelona and then getting to Melbourne. Uh, what will you be doing over the next few days before we see you on the track? Catalonia. Yes, so this week been here in Brackley, uh, different kind of commitments with the engineers and obviously big day today with the launch and shakedown. Uh, tomorrow um, trying to make some of the team partners happy by doing laps around Silverstone with the road happy? car. You might make them very scared. Yeah, it could be. Some of them are happy, some of them cry. <laughs> they <laughs> come up with I'm, a sick bag. Anyway, I'm they? having fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm exactly, driving. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's tomorrow. Then Saturday onwards to Barcelona and obviously testing starts on Monday. So on Sunday we do meetings with the team, final seat filling, stuff like that, uh, to be well prepared for, for testing and then, you know, everything starts. And then it will, will, well, November will be here before we know it. Exactly. That's how it goes. It's crazy. <laughs> um, Valtteri, thank you so much for joining us at the end of a very, very long launch day. Thank you also for joining us at home. Thank you. Uh, you can watch all of our videos back on the team's YouTube and Facebook channels, so don't miss any of those. Uh, onwards now to Barcelona. Valtteri, I wish you a very successful season with the team. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.